Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here. Today we are doing a shop or not. It has been such a long time since I've done this type of video. It's kind of a take on the Samantha Marches, will I buy it? And I try to do them as much as I can, but lately I haven't done them that much at all. So I figured why not? Why not do one this week? There's been a lot of stuff like creeping in for the holidays, you know, like we're starting to see a lot of new makeup releases and we're gonna go through trend mood. I'm gonna be telling you guys all of the new launches and most likely telling you guys the reason I'm not gonna be picking them up because I have been pretty picky. I've been pretty picky with what I've been picking up lately and I think, I think I've done a pretty decent job for the year. We'll see about that at the end of the year. But if you are new to the channel, I'm Christina Brooke. I love makeup. I also love fashion, but I try to be a little bit realistic, especially when it comes to makeup because there's just so much out there and there's so much I wanna buy, but you know, I try to convince myself that I only have one face and I don't need so much. So I'd love it if maybe you'd want to hit subscribe and join the family. So let's go ahead, let's get into the video. Lots to go over. I haven't really actually looked at Trend Mood in a minute, so I'm sure there's a lot of stuff on here that I don't even know is out. So, so I do wanna point out that the look that I have on today is actually with the Natasha Denona Retro. So I did a look not incorporating the burgundies in the palette. This look is gonna be up on Instagram. If you're not following me over there, it's right here. It's Christina Brooke Beauty. I would love Love it if you would check me out over there you will see this look as well and yeah let's go ahead and let's get into this a lot of stuff on this list oh, so let's open it up and ooh, what are you okay so Fenty is releasing the gloss bomb heat universal lip plumper so these are plumper luminizers so there's gonna be three of them it looks like anytime that I see anything that says plumper I usually get like mm, I honestly, and I've said this a few times, I don't understand how anybody likes these things. Like they make your lips literally like, I don't know about this product in specifics because maybe this one won't be as much, but usually anytime you see plumpers, it's like something inside of it that like kind of burns. <laughs> well, not burns, but it like tingles your lips so much that your lips go, you know, like I just don't, I don't get it. Like I want something really comfortable on my lips. Like I'm just, I don't know. You can overline your lips and not have to like make them suffer with a plumper. So I'm not usually into these things. I don't know. If, I don't know if this one's going to be like one of those formulas, like the Too Faced one that I've heard people talk about these lip injection um, from Too, Too Faced that there's like horror stories with it. So yeah, I just, anytime I see plumper, I say, mm-mm. And I've tried plumpers before, okay? So it's not like I've never put them on before and I just don't like them. I just, it's just, mm. Patrick Ta has released a mascara. Interesting, so this is the new major volume mascara from Patrick Ta. How much is this? Ooh, 20, a $29 mascara and it's releasing September 9th. Now, I am so picky with mascaras, guys. Like, I use L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I love the stuff. Like, I literally can't find anything. I have it on today, and every time I wear it, I get compliments of people saying, wow, your lashes look fake. Do you wear fake lashes? And I don't. I don't like fake lashes. They bother my eyes. So I have kind of just been partial to L'Oreal Lash Paradise because it's cheap. I can sometimes get like two, buy one, get the other one half off at the drugstore and I go through mascara so quick that like buying an expensive mascara, it literally has to be phenomenal. And I will say too, I've purchased before expensive mascaras and they're the type that when your eyes start getting watery, it like makes your eyes sting. Does that happen to anybody else? Like when you're driving, all of a sudden you're like driving, everything's perfect. And then all of a sudden your eye starts getting watery and then mascara starts to go in your eye and then you're like, driving around like that, like trying to not mess up your eye makeup, but then every time you close your eye, it hurts even more. Well, that usually happens to me with expensive mascara. I don't know. So I have to say I'm pretty true to that mascara. Patrick Ta releasing one is interesting because he usually has a very natural, but emphasized look. I just don't know if a 20, I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna try a $29 mascara right now. I think I'll probably skip this one. I think I'm gonna skip this one. Let me know down below if you guys are picking this up or if it's any good, but I think, I think we're gonna skip it. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, so it's ColourPop. <laughs> Every time I do this video, there's like five or six ColourPops in here, but this is actually pretty. Like ColourPop is starting to do like this 
like I don't know like they're changing up some of their packaging they're starting to look a little bit um, more expensive looking I guess if you would say but this is the fresh lips lip cream by Colourpop these look pretty they're actually liquid lipsticks but they're supposed to be moisturizing and comfortable which is what I look for in a liquid lip like I know a lot of people want things to last a super long time and I don't mind if they last I just don't want to feel the next day that I need to put like 10 scrubs on my lips because they feel like dehydrated or even like in the middle of the day that you feel like oh my lips you know so anything that's hydrating or is moisturizing I really like they don't say exactly when this is gonna release but I'm sure I'm sure with Colourpop it's gonna be like this week this will release and the next week 10 other things will release but I like these have you guys seen this this looks really really pretty maybe I'll pick some of these up just to try them now there's the tempting fate collection from Mac you know I feel like Mac <laughs> I feel like Mac always really tries so hard to come out with like really awesome collections and Mac is a good brand But I don't know why like even like their eyeshadow palettes. They're just always kind of bland for me I don't feel like they're really thought out like I like this color story that they released It's a very pretty like jewel tone color story, but why do they all look like they're kind of like shimmery shades? Why do they all look like they're kind of like metallic -y shades? I'm not sure maybe like two of them are mattes it's a pretty color story, but I don't know, maybe it's the presentation. Something about it just doesn't make me want it. I don't know. But it, I think like if another brand were to have released this same color story, maybe added a few more colors and maybe did it in a different way, like presented in a different way, maybe I would like it. But I don't know why I don't like this one. I don't. I really don't. And the lipsticks, wow, what beautiful casings they're in. You know, maybe it's that it's like a very romanticized, like renaissance inspired like look. Maybe I'm not like into like the Renaissance period. <laughs> so I just finished doing a Make Up Your Mind on the eyeshadow palette of this, but this is the Fenty Face Highlighter, right? It's the Bomb Highlighter Palette. So it comes with three highlighters. These are supposed to snap into that eyeshadow palette. I, I, you know, it's, I'm not so into these three highlighter things anymore because I've started to notice how little highlighter you go through in a year. <laughs> I have so much highlight, you know, and and this one it's not bad It's just I can already see from this I could probably use two shades and maybe not the third one And I know sometimes they do this so it's universal So, you, you know, like more people can actually have access to this But sometimes I wonder if it's even better just to sell one individual, you know And just do it in a bunch of different shades so people could just pick what they like better Than doing like a three and then you get a little bit of a deal But and then really one of them you're not going to use unless you want to use it on your lids And usually we never do that like do we ever really do that a lot of times when I buy these types I'm like well I could probably use that color for my lids I'm not gonna use it on my face because it won't work but then when I use that highlighter palette I never use that for my lids like it just never happens you know so I don't know how much is this how much is this going to be 40 something 48 is it 48 for this no I feel like Fenty lately has been very safe and I feel like they, when they first started, I was really into a lot of their stuff, but like lately they've come, but lately I feel like they've come out with like good packaging ideas, the interiors, <laughs> like the part that really matters. I don't feel like it's been like amazing lately. Have you guys felt the same? Okay, so now we've got something from Milk Makeup and this is the Bionic Liquid Blush. Wow, so these look kind of cool. I do like that they're in a little squeezy tube. That's probably gonna be awesome for even like a makeup artist that you don't wanna like have the product like get contaminated and you could just right onto your palette. I think that's a really cool idea. I do like that there's a few different shades and there's one that's peach in there. This might be something interesting that I wouldn't mind giving a shot. Like I don't typically use that much liquid products. I'm like that person that always says like I want to pick up something liquid and then <laughs> when it comes down to it, I don't use the liquid. <laughs> But I really do think that this looks like a cool product and I liked I like the array of shades that they put in here They're gonna be twenty dollars each. I think that was a cute little launch from milk Ooh, so now we have the new Kaleidos Apple collection. So I believe I'm getting this in PR and It looks kind of cool, right? Doesn't it kind of look like like Halloween inspired like I don't know the images look like it's like very like dramatic I don't know what the palette's gonna look like yet, but I believe I'm getting this collection So I will have that up for you guys when I get it. So I'm interested in that Kaleidos is like one of those brands that They put a lot into their packaging 
but then their products are actually really good as well, which I would hope. You get more than what you pay for because you even get a really cool packaging, which I really enjoy. What, what is this? Oh gosh, Batman. Okay, so one of you guys want me to do one of my chatty videos all about like brands like teaming up with ridiculous things and I think we're gonna do that one. I have a whole list for you guys. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna start doing one a week of these chatty videos because I've got so many things to talk about. There's so many ridiculous things that happen in the makeup world, but also in the world in general. So it could be fun to talk about it all. But this one I think is kind of ridiculous. So this is a Makeup Revolution and DC Comics um, collab, but everything has Batman on it, you know? And oh yeah, there, well, there's a Joker. There's a Joker. The Joker one actually looks cuter. I don't know, maybe the Joker one actually looks cute but the Batman one looks kind of dumb. So I don't know, I mean, it's not the worst collab I've seen. I've seen some really bad ones. I don't know, I guess unless you're somebody who's like really into this, it doesn't really make sense, you know? I don't know, isn't, is Batman even coming out again? Is there another Batman? Am I missing something? Is Joker? It's not perfect, I don't think. But there is some cute stuff to it. I guess there is some cute stuff to it. It's not the worst thing I've seen. I think the worst one I ever saw was that one that like they collabed with like a cheeseburger. <laughs> Let's go and put some lettuce on the lettuce. Why not add a little bit of like red ketchup? <laughs> it's so dumb. You know, this is so funny. The other day I was actually thinking that I want to buy Monopoly again. <laughs> it's been so long since I played Monopoly and I actually liked Monopoly. I mean, I know most kids probably didn't like Monopoly, but I liked Monopoly. I thought it was so cool. So uh, yeah, I think I want to play Monopoly again, but that, that's on a completely different subject. But this is Bobby Brown and Monopoly and I don't know why I kind of love that. Um, looking at the palettes, let's see what we've got here. Let's see what we've got here. Some of the products look kind of cute. I do like that they left the packaging pretty high-end looking, like they put Monopoly on it, but they didn't make it super gimmicky. There's a little bit of gimmick here, but they did try to keep it a little bit luxurious. The inside of the eyeshadow palette, looking at it, it's, it's actually interesting colors for Bobbi Brown. Now, I don't know if those colors are gonna look amazing. Like, I feel like they're very, very light, at least the one that I see here. Um, I would like to see more on this collection, but oh, I don't think we're gonna see more on this collection because it's saying a China exclusive. I guess we won't be talking about Monopoly, but I still wanna buy Monopoly. Okay, so let's see, what's next? The Essential Nudes. Okay, so this has nothing to do with makeup, but I'm gonna tell you guys, this is such cool packaging. Every time I see this, I just wish that they would have done this packaging as a foundation. Okay, so this is from KKW Beauty Fragrance or KK Fragrance, whatever they're called. And it is the Nudes Collection. It's four different types of fragrances. I love these bottles. They literally look like they're melting. I wish that they would do this and this would have been like different shades of foundation and all of these different bottles, you know, and like liquid highlighters or whatever. I think that this casing was so beautiful that maybe a little bit wasted on perfume. I wish it was like part of her relaunch of KKW Beauty or whatever it's gonna be called now. But it looks like Jennifer Aniston is coming out with um, a beauty brand and most likely it's gonna have a lot to do with body care, oh, body care, lotions, deodorant, skin care, hair care, yeah, makes sense. I mean, everybody, I mean, she's known for her hair from friends. It would make a lot of sense for her to do something like this. It actually took pretty long for her to do something like this. I'm not shocked by this. Actually, it could be a really good opportunity for her, especially since, like I said, she was always known for that shaggy haircut that she did from friends, and she's always had very, very good hair, so, I'm not shocked by this. Also, her skin has always looked good. Everybody has always said that she looks so young. So I think that, you know, going in this realm might actually be good for Jennifer Aniston. So then we have, oh, Rare Beauty's coming out with something else. So this is the Brow Harmony Shape and Fill Duo. Huh, this is interesting. You see, I never even saw this. <laughs> this actually looks to me like one of those products that you pick up like during the Sephora sale. Maybe not something like you pick up on its own. So it has a brow putty that softens and shapes, and then you can pick like the different colors. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, I'm interested in that. I feel like I, I like Rare Beauty. You see, like that's a brand I feel like lately, 
we'll see. We'll see how it continues. But lately, they've created some pretty interesting products. The packagings are cool, but at the same time, the product inside is pretty damn good too. And I've tried a lot of very good products from them. So I have been on board with Rare Beauty so far. That's one brand that I feel like celebrity owned, but not I don't like this. <laughs> I mean, you guys know I like green, but these are not my greens. These are like fluorescent greens. This looks like Tinkerbell. And, you know, sometimes when they make the palettes look too much like the characters and you're like, well, I didn't really want to wear like neon green on my lids. I don't know. This isn't like my style. I'm sure there's people out there that will like this. I do like that there's like some dusty pinks in there. That makes it kind of cute. But it's definitely not not for me definitely not for me has anybody reviewed this yet i would like to know if anybody's reviewed that product yet because i just don't know if i like that color story Ooh, tom ford blushes Ooh, this these look pretty they kind of remind me of like victoria beckham blushes you know like with that slice in the middles you get two different colors i do like when they do this because then you can kind of like mix them together if you want like a third color they're 90 dollars each let me tell you tom ford Tom Ford is pretty up there with his prices, huh? He really doesn't slack. I mean, I know his clothing's really good, but he really he really puts his prices up for his makeup as well. I like the blushes. I think they're pretty. Um, but here's the thing. Blush. <laughs> I feel like I say this a lot, <clears throat> but blush. You know, blush is done very good by a lot of brands. And yes, yes, there could be amazing blushes. Shanti Kai has a beautiful blush and I love it and I think it's amazing. And it's expensive, it's very pricey. But the only good thing that I like about Shanti Kai is that you are getting like pretty beautiful casing. Like it's very, it's very intense how amazing. There's also a portion of donation that they give to the wildlife. So you kind of feel like you're doing something you're you're buying something expensive, but you're also doing something, like you're doing some type of like help to the environment you know <laughs> but when it comes to tom ford like and you're buying the 90 dollars ones and like yes it does look like the compact is pretty but i don't think that that's like a super luxurious packaging for 90 bucks blush is really blush can be done really good jouet does really good blushes i've heard patrick ta's blushes are amazing and you're talking about like half the price you know so and kind of how i felt about the hermes one that i was like so expensive I know your price i know you got pricey clothes and everything but but like even like if you think about like even like a birkin have you seen how expensive those things are like i've always known that they were expensive but like recently i saw somebody who bought one that i was like damn you can buy like a condo somewhere <laughs> and that could be like the down payment or like the 10 to 15 percent down payment like pretty i mean Okay, so we have the Charlotte Tilbury palette, which I'm not even gonna get too much into because my Make Up Your Mind on that one is probably going to be next. I've gotta start working on it today, but I'm not sure, kind of interested, but we gotta, we gotta do some comparisons first. I gotta, I gotta check my collection before I talk on that one. Oh, Gucci, what did they come out with? Gucci, oh, a refillable cushion foundation. This could be very interesting. Um, I actually really liked the Gucci foundation, but it, I could not do it. It literally had so much fragrance in it that my skin hated it. I literally got itchy, like facial itchiness from using that foundation. And I gave it to my mom. So $56.00. Yeah, I'm not even gonna waste my money buying this because I'm almost positive it's gonna have like a lot of fragrance in it. Like if you guys hear anybody buy this, tell me if it has fragrance, but I'm pretty sure it does. And my skin hates fragrance. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's like my skin hates luxurious brand fragrances because they make their fragrances smell like perfume. It's not like it has a little slight fragrance. It's like they got a perfume bottle and said, that's gonna make it worth the $90. <laughs> Fenty eyeshadow palette. If you guys wanna see my thoughts on that, watch my Make Up Your Mind. I probably posted it yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here. But yeah, it's a pretty color story. And I probably would have been very intrigued by it just like maybe a few months ago, but I'll tell you guys why in this video. So just check out the video, but it's basically, I ba basically own this thing. Like, and I think that's where we're gonna leave it. I mean, I think that there's some interesting things coming out, but honestly, I feel like the super, super interesting things, I think I've already picked up. And some of the other stuff, like they're, they're cool, but there's kind of like space fillers, like nothing that I feel like is just like, yes, I need to try this or, oh, this is such an exciting launch. I don't feel that way. Let's see, holiday is coming. I just, I can't even believe I'm saying that, but a holiday is creeping up. We are in September. 
look, October is Halloween, November is Thanksgiving, December is Christmas. I mean, like, we're already in the holidays, guys. This is, guys, this is the last month. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta go take out my Halloween decorations. I might just go do that right now. I am that girl. I am that girl that in September takes out their Halloween decorations because we need longer than just a month to put out decorations. I mean, you gotta take them down so quick, you know? So, anyways. I hope you guys really enjoy my video. I will be up on Instagram probably showing you guys where I'm putting my ghosts this year. So <laughs> anyways, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.